Good morning. As there is uh, no obligatory memorial for today, uh, we can celebrate a votive mass of the Blessed Mother, which we will do so under her title, uh, Holy Mary, Mother of Unity. And from the first uh, chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, the entrance antiphon, the disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And in confessing our sins, we acknowledge God's love for us, that he loved us so much he sent our Lord Jesus to be our Savior. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O Holy Father, fountain of unity and wellspring of harmony, Grant that all the families of nations through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the human race, may be gathered together to form the one people of the new covenant through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord, and now at last you revive your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lack an opportunity. Not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians indeed know that at the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was at Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift, rather I am eager for the profit that accrues to your account. I have received full payment and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Epaphroditus, a fragrance aroma, an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with the glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Blessed are the man who fears the Lord. Blessed are the man who fears the Lord. Blessed are the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed are the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lands, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed are the man who fears the Lord. 
His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lovelessly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horns shall be exalted in glory. Blessed man who fears the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. May these words be on our mind, our lips, and our hearts. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees, who loved money, heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul, uh, today in the uh, letter to the Philippians, uh, mirrors uh, the total trust in God that our Blessed Mother does, especially the beginning of the Gospel uh, of uh, Luke, uh, when, as I've uh, mentioned a few weeks ago, uh, she gives praise and honor to God for the glory that has been given her. She does not uh, say, I am so glorious and wonderful, but rather God is glorious and wonderful. And she also, of course, as a model of charity and love, not caring for herself, uh, but uh, caring for others. Her uh, cousin Elizabeth goes off to uh, help her uh, in her time of need. Uh, Saint uh, Paul uh, calling upon the Philippians and thanking them for their helpful uh, support. They recognizing that Christian faith is not all about themselves uh, and uh, nobody else, but of course uh, includes uh, all the people who share the faith. So we pray that uh, we will always recognize that we do not, uh, as St. Paul writes elsewhere, do not live for ourselves, but we live for the Lord. And in living for the Lord, we also recognize uh, our responsibility not only to him, uh, but to uh, one another. And let us uh, offer our prayers and our needs. For Pope Francis and all bishops, may they be sanctified by the gifts of the Holy Spirit for the good of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God bless them with compassion in their work of guarding the well-being of the venerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who bear heavy crosses its day, may God grant them courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those working in our church renovation, bless the work of their hands and draw them closer to his most sacred heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold deep in our hearts and for those written in the Paris Book of Intercessions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, And for those we remember on our banners in the, church, in the chapel, for those named in our book of remembrance, and for all Holy Family parishioners who died on this date, including Harry Plerkowski, Sr., Howard Parcell, Simon Cantin, Jermaine Linkowski, 
and Simon Sikirsky. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Evelyn Christie, from whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bring these prayers confidently to you, beloved Father, brought to the name of our Lord Jesus. It is He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, Lord God, accept us and accept this sacrifice, which we offer unto you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. Lord, as we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, in whose virginal womb your Son united divine and human nature, we earnestly beg that this offering may become the sacrament of our worship the sign of our unity, and the bond of our love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the one who makes whole, the lover of unity, who chose for his mother a woman unstained in heart and body, and for his bride the one and undivided church. Lifted high above the earth in the presence of his mother, he gathered your scattered children into unity, joining them to himself with bonds of love. Returning to you and seated at your right hand, he sent upon the Blessed Virgin at prayer with the apostles the spirit of concord and unity of peace and forgiveness. We praise you, Lord, with all the saints and angels in their song of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, our patron saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Carrie, are there any more Eucharistic ministers? I was told we would start to have more. Thank you. Thank you now. May this mingling of the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all of us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should...
I have the uh, gluten-free host, so anybody who requires one, if you're on the inside of the church, I'll come to you, don't worry.
for those watching online at home, join me now in the act of the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Today's communion antiphon from the 10th chapter of St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Though many, we are one bread, one body, for we all partake of the one bread and the one chalice. And let us pray. Lord God, through your holy gifts which you have received on this memorial of the Holy of Holy Mary, Mother of Unity, pour out upon us the spirit of gentleness and peace, that we may work together in harmony, and so hasten the coming of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will be hearing confessions after Mass, and next Saturday is the Saturday in which there will be uh, several uh, more confessors, so that's uh, next uh, Saturday. May the Lord be with you. May God in his undying love for you all bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go forth and love and serve our Lord, especially in our loving service to one another. Thanks be to God.